We want to give a big shout out to our friends at Stryker for sponsoring this video. I just visited their global headquarters in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and wow, this leading medical manufacturer has state-of-the-art workplaces, provides top pay, and even has a housing stipend for their interns. Learn more about how Stryker supports their employees who are in first by going to careers.stryker.com forward slash first. The top 25 will remain the same. I think we're going to break into that right now. And then um, Justin's going to tell us about our 25th ranked team, Team 176. From Windsor Locks, Connecticut, Windsor Locks and Suffield High Schools, it's Aces High, 18-0 and undefeated winners, the Waterbury District event. So a short season for 176, but one of perfection. They were the class of the field in Waterbury. 176 had two more events on their schedule. A lot of teams probably in that same category. <laughs> um, with the Western... Uh, New England and the Hartford district events. And hopefully we can get a few more matches uh, at some point, but a great robot turned out by 176 undefeated winners uh, and good luck in any future events. So uh, 176, um, I don't think I saw them. I lost when you guys had them probably uh, on one of the earlier weeks of the FRC top 25. And I just didn't recall um, them being there. If you guys can um, remember. I think I had them. Um, you did? Um, I can't, yeah. Yeah. All right. So moving on to the 24th spot, Mike's going to tell us about team 2200. From Burlington, Ontario, Canada, and M.M. Robinson High School, it's M.M. Robotics. Mm. An overall, record of, <laughs> overall <laughs> record of 15 and 3. They were the winners of the Durham College District event. So I, this is just a, a cool little tiny little robot. Um, it's kind of like a hybrid, short, tall. It kind of unfolds their shooter hood. Um, so they can go underneath um, the control panel, but also um, use that to their advantage, too. They won the Autonomous Award in Durham College. Um, and watching the matches on uh, the Blue Alliance is really apparent why. They're programmed um, excellently. They line up quickly, and there's, um, I think, little to no arc to their shot. Just super high-powered and accurate. Um, they finished second in qualifications, but were scooped up by the number one alliance um, and just had an incredible season from there. Um Oh, and I'm sorry, for an incredible reason. They would take the win in six matches, and congrats to M.M. Rambotics uh, for here, the 24th, um, for the top 25. <laughs> really sad, but, um, yeah, I just, I like the robot a lot. Yeah, it is, yeah, for sure. Uh, kind of a little combination, which is really, oh, uh, I'm a little robot. A little, little bit. Mike's yeah. a little bit robot. What a robot. We, we, sorry, that should guys. be a new emote. We have two new emote slots on Luck Chat. We need some suggestions. Robot? I think I think yeah. like a robot one would be great actually. I just takes like over 100 percent of my CPU for some reason, or and Chrome does too. Yeah. Guys, okay. we might have to do a, some sort of like uh, crowd crowdfunding for Mike for a new laptop. <laughs> it might be, it might be time. One. Subscribe I now. I just, I just Dude, got I this for, it's my work computer. Oh, yeah, I, I, I actually figured either. it was your internet, but no, my internet is pretty good. But I will say. Just real quick on Team 2200, they're a team that, like, to me is the epitome of a team that has benefited so much from the district, uh, the district system and just playing more. Like, um, you know, Canada went to districts in 2017, and you can just chart their performance. You know, they they were they were good in 2017, and then 2018 they were a little bit better, and then now 2019 and 2020 they won back to back uh, district events. So they're a team that really I think has benefited from the extra plays. And all the all the other benefits that go along with district events. Can I can I make a yeah, we, can yeah, I make yeah. a general complaint? Sure. Wait, I mean, I know that everybody's still down on things, but can we please get matches uploaded to TBA? It's been like uh, two yeah. weeks for some of these. Yeah. Like, like you know, it, I'm a big fan of like districts having their own thing and going that way. But districts would be really nice if you actually had your match videos fully uploaded. And, I, you know, I appreciate like 610 uploading matches that they're in. But it'd be nice if uh, some other ones were uh, in here as well. Spoiler. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Leaders... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no, I was going to say, speaking of 610. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a, that was a oh. slip. My bad. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I just wanted to say thanks to Red Leader 342. He's gifted. <laughs> Two new subs for uh, for a laptop for me or a computer. <laughs> um, Thank you, Red Leader. Real nice. No, but it's it's Skype. It's a hundred. I'm just looking at hundred hundred and forty four percent of my CPU. So that, that's that doesn't it, even that make seems... sense. By the way, somebody says, "Why don't we use Discord?" Uh, if, when you can show me how Discord can pull in independent sources for each person, I am game because I do hate Skype, but it is fantastic for that. <laughs> it's really good. It's really nice for streamers. 
for sure. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of 610, um, Christine's going to tell us about them in the 23rd spot. Yep. So from North York, Ontario, Canada, and Crescent Schools, it's Crescent Coyotes, which whenever I like say that, it just seems weird because I just know yeah. them as 610. So they had an overall right. record of 10 and 6, and they were semifinalists and winners of the Excellence in Engineering Award at the Durham College District event. So it's hard to believe that this is their 20th season as a team. It was cool to see the thread on Delphi with their um, 20 years kind of recap video that they made. Mm -hmm. um, and they definitely fielded a robot that's worthy of like 20th year status. Um, their robot this year is named Megalodon. And it uh, took them all the way to the semis as captains of the number four alliance with 4049 and 6323 during their week one event in Durham. So they have a tall robot. And it's definitely an accurate far shooter, which I can appreciate. Um, there's something like really 2056 looking about their robot to me this year. It's just like really, really simple, kind of beefy, like it's robust and their intake is really, really good. Um, it was really cool to read on their uh, reveal thread on Delphi about kind of the rollers inside of the shooter hood that's preventing backspin and it definitely works for them. So um, I'm imagining that, you know, they had a lot of practice time. I love seeing their reveal videos that have the like really cool field house dome that they get to yeah. to practice in. Um, I'm excited to see when they get back on the field at some point. I'm sure they're going to have a lot of stick time in, and they'll be awesome as always. So congrats to them on 20 years. It's pretty crazy. They're an outstanding team, and I'm looking forward to seeing what they bring to the field in the offseason or when the season is reinstated and any video work that they publish too because their videos are pretty awesome uh so two quick things to address in here uh, i do agree somebody commented that uh 2200 above 610 i agree with that i mean i think 610 is a great mm. team i think their potentials definitely more there but 2200 i thought had a vastly superior uh performance overall not maybe not vastly but uh, a bit better performance than 610 um somebody asked in there wait how is it that 610 is above 2200 when yesterday 2200 was above 610 uh easy explanation yeah and uh, actually necro posted in there is that the votes that we do during region recap are only sampling people who identify as part of that region. So yesterday, 2200, I think actually took first uh, above like 1114, that sort of thing. But it's only from people who are identifying as part of what we call the We the North region, which is northern U.S., uh, Ontario and Quebec uh, for there. But if we look at all the 554 votes, that's where these teams lie for something like this. Fair enough. What are we doing? Yeah, thanks for understanding. All right, so Justin, can you tell us about who's in our number 22 spot? It looks like it's team 5172. Absolutely, from Greenbush, Minnesota, it's the Gators. Uh, 10 and five overall, and we're the finalists of the Great Northern Regional. So this is an example of a team that was it's really on the upswing and definitely was ready to improve on their performance oh, yeah. uh, later in the season if they had the opportunity. They lost in the finals uh, on the on a, uh, fouls, but they scored. They, their line scored 230 points. Foul three, foul free. Wow, um, so very impressive there. Excellent shot from the trench, and they uh, the required climbing skills to pull off that triple hang. So another great robot from one of Tower's favorite teams, um, 5172. Yeah, they appeared um, on the week one top 25 in 11th um, through week one. So that's the last time we saw them there. Yeah, I just 100% agree with you. I think 5172 is upside is was huge and they kind of fell victim to uh they didn't have uh the best performance in quals. They kind of started getting much better, but I know their Friday was not the greatest for them. So they fell below the top 8 and then there was a bit of a scorched earth of that event. They got picked by the number 1 seed, who wasn't bad, but not like the best team around, you know. I mean, if you would have 5172 and 1619 uh paired together in this event, like that would have been absolutely insane. Uh, the C because we already saw uh, a decent amount of uh, control panel uh, stage two rotations at this event. I think if you had those team, two teams together, you might have seen a stage three in week one, and that would have been really cool to see. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> this is going to be the season of like, oh, shucks, missed yeah. opportunities. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so moving on uh, in the 21st spot, Mike's going to tell us about 3683. From Waterloo, Ontario, Canada, and St. David Catholic Secondary School, it's Team Dave. They have a record of 17-1 and overall. And they were the double gold, cling bling winners of the Humber College District event. So ranking 14th um, last week after week two events, they are settled here at 20, uh, 21st. They captained the number two alliance at Humber and would take the win in six matches. Um, an excellent robot that plays all aspects of this game really well. 
Um, we really love talking about this team. Um, and just we talk about them about a lot. I talk about them a lot, excuse me. And the double goal cling bling on the season tells you a lot about them. But you just saw them recently at the Stemley Cup. Um, any other insights that you could offer about them from being there? Yeah, they're just an incredible team top to bottom. Um, they're, they're very, they've are they're been consistent for the past few years. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of teams in each region that kind of take uh, a little bit in the shadow of, like, the, the powerhouse in their area. Like, I think 3683 always kind of gets overlooked a little bit because of Symbotics and OP, and OP. But I think they're starting to get, a, a, you know, a reputation um, out on their own, and it's certainly well-deserved. They're just an incredible team, and I'm going to continue to be a, a powerhouse uh, in mm -hmm. Canada. Yeah, right. I mean, we just talk about them year in year out, you know, with some bots and with twenty fifty six, but and because they can hold their own, right? And they're yeah, um, and because they're up there and they can do that. So, um, really great um, team. They're out of Waterloo, and um, yeah, congratulations here at twenty one. Time to majorly sell out. Let's do it, guys, with a huge striker ad coming in. No, guys, striker, uh, awesome company. If you had an opportunity, striker, striker, striker. We just say it like twenty times, right? And then we get all of them done. And that's the way we go. But, uh, guys, uh, once again, lots of downtime. If you're looking for internships, co-ops, uh, careers, even if you're just starting, if you're starting to graduate college, or if you're looking for a great new career out there, there is one out there for you. Uh, currently, just in Kalamazoo itself, 52 jobs available, but they have careers all around the world. Uh, Striker, uh, as mentioned before, Nick Jr. and I got the tour of their facility. Uh, and, wow, what an incredible place. State-of-the-art technology, state-of-the-art equipment. They treat their employees like gold, and they will support you for being in first. So if you're interested in uh, learning more about how you can work for a company that truly says, hey, guys, you're in first. We love that. We want you to go to first competitions. We want you to mentor. We want you to volunteer, and we'll support you doing it as an employer. Go check out careers.strykr.com forward slash first. All right, so moving on in our 20th spot, we have Team 2168. From Groton, Connecticut, Robert Fitch High School, it's the Aluminum Falcons, 17-1 and one overall, and were the winners of the Southeast Massachusetts District event, where they also picked up the Chairman's Award. So two gold medals and two rare 2020 blue banners. Those Anyone who's got a 2020 blue, blue banner, that's <laughs> something to hang on to, because there's not that many right? to be handed out. Uh, in the abbreviated season so far, um, they were the number one seed and went a perfect 6-0 in the okay. playoffs to pick up the event win. They can score and climb with these, uh, and their extremely fast cycling makes them a dominant robot that hopefully we get to see um, mm. at some point again this season. But congrats to 2168 uh, on a great robot, great machine. This is a top 10 team in my opinion. Uh, 2168, for those who did have an opportunity to watch, uh, you know, and, and I know the archives aren't there except for video on demand, so sometimes it's tougher to, to see some of these. Um, and, well, actually, the one that we're seeing is actually from a team. I'm saying like the official archives are, are not up there, unfortunately, yeah. from the New England district. Uh, but this team was just incredible. Uh, I, I really hope that we get to see this team compete another time because I, I really, really like what they bring to the table. Uh, and, and can't wait to see just, just more of the team is just year in, year out, started to build that consistency that we look for in those top tier teams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And somebody in chat, Skyhawk11, just said, whoa, that sunlight on the field, oof. Yeah. yeah. Actually, though, that was a huge uh, oh, holy crap. frustration of teams. <laughs> what is this, <laughs> Minute Maid Park? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, New Shots England's own fire. Minute Maid Park. Honestly, though, that <laughs> event is probably one of the best events in New England, so there's really only so much you can control, especially yeah. during Daylight Savings Weekend. But mm, for Falcons, sure. it apparently didn't matter, so good for them. Yeah, all right. All right, so moving on, um, there was a little bit of chatter in the chat about the lack of Israel teams, uh, but uh, Mike's going to tell us about Team 5990. From Modin, Israel, it's Trigon. They were 15-2 and two overall, and they were the winners of the Israel um, number one event. So Trigon was one of the first few teams um, to see uh, this field this year. They were in qualification match four of the first event of the season. Uh, 5990 would lead Teleop scoring at the event and finish third overall, uh, but would be taken off the board first and we're going to go on to winning six matches from there they're able to intake balls quickly and uh, they don't have a turret but they line up very quickly and they have a really powerful hard shot um they're able to take shots from long range with excellence as well congratulations to them a team out of israel that we haven't talked too much about in the last couple of years uh, but really nice to see them hold their own here and land at 19th overall and will not be the only israel team we discussed tonight but definitely um, not. yeah so yeah, definitely not. Yeah, so, um, yeah, Trigon, not too much recognition these past couple of years, but uh, I have a feeling that we'll be talking more about them um, years to come, um, yeah. events to come. So it's also, if, if I remember correctly with how ELO works, it's also probably, I think, whether lower in ELO. Though I, I don't know if that, I, I actually forget that gets adjusted uh, just based off the season. 
uh, or not, because I, I know in the beginning of the season the ELOs are going to be super low for some of these teams uh, off of Israel uh, just because of how the events work or how the performance was in previous years. So I, I don't recall uh, from Kayla off the top of my head if it's um, completely just based off of this year or if it includes last year as well. Somebody can probably correct me in chat. Cool. Well, thank you. All right, so moving on to our 18th spot, Christine's going to tell us about Team 2096. From Demona Hardaram, Israel, which I am a, so profusely sorry if I messed that up, uh, with Zinman High School, it's RoboActive with an overall record of 16-1-1. One one. There's not a whole lot of ties this year, so I get excited when there are some. Uh, <laughs> they're the winners of the Israel District event number one and winners of the Engineering Inspiration Award and Safety Award. So that's a whole lot of district points that they racked up at that first event. So one of the more accurate high-velocity shooters, 2096, were solid with fender shots at their first event. And their climb was, even though it was singled arm, um, it deployed really fast and had a hook that winches up pretty quickly. And they were also 2019 Engineering Inspiration Award winners on Carson. So to see them pick up again where they left off at Champs last mm -hmm. year off the field was pretty awesome. Um, so on and off the field, they had a really great start to this season. So I really hope that eventually... Israel continues with their events later on this year. So congrats to them on a pretty amazing start to the season. And I don't know, any team that wins a culture changing award or chairman's finalist at champs, like that's, that's not an easy feat. So I was excited yeah. to see that mm -hmm. they were able to pick that up at their first event EI after leaving off with it at champs last year. So congrats nice. to them. Yeah. Hey, I just want to read off real quick. Uh, Caleb's actually in chat and says that for ELO, uh, if a team plays one event, their ELO is roughly 50% from that year's performance and 50% from the seed ranking. So that, that it does explain a lot. So appreciate that. Uh, and I'm sure if you have more questions to start uh, taking Inkling 6 in chat over and over again, I'm sure I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have for you. Thanks, Caleb. <laughs> appreciate it, buddy. Oh, no. And we saw... Um... We saw Roa active week one. They were 12th in the week one top 25. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I will say, and not to take anything away from the Israel teams because there are some fantastic robots, but the one thing I want to say about the Israel region is they vote. They are like the most consistent uh, voting uh, group that we see week in and week out. So if you really want to kind of bring some um, positive press and put a spot in your region, you got to get out there and vote. Yeah, help the vote. <clears throat> All right, Justin, why don't you tell us about Team 188 in the number 17 spot. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Woburn Collegiate Institute, it's Blizzard. 17-1 overall, and the winner is the Durham College event. So uh, 188 has a special robot this season. They're a great cycler. I talked about them um, when they were on the FRC Top 25 um, in a previous week. But from the initial initiation line back to human loading station, they are just crazy fast. Um, it, you know, keeping that feedback loop uh, going on or preventing that feedback loop on their side of the field. The shooter is one of the fastest I saw um, as far as getting the, you know, all five balls out easily less than a second. And once they're uh, at the bar to climb, their climb is super fast and super reliable. So they were able to take the number one spot uh, at their event as well as the win. So another great robot from 188. A lot of great robots from Canada um, this year and making the list. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on uh, in the 16th spot. Mike's in the house about team 2337. Grand Blank, Michigan, and Grand Blank High School. It's the end, but I was needed. Roboted. Mm -hmm. So from Grand Blank, Michigan, and Grand Blank High School, it's the Engineers. They have an overall record of 32 and 3. They were the semifinalists um, this past weekend at St. Joe's. That might be from previous, excuse me. So one of the only teams to appear on the top 25 list three times this season. Uh, three for three for the engineers. They took the win um, and the district chairman's award last week at Kettering. Uh, they went 18 and 0 and had the number one seed. Um, and the double goal claim thing for them there in chat. Um, they would take the number one seed again at St. Joe's, going 11 and 1 with a 2.41 ranking score average. Um, here they would exit in the semifinals, but just an incredibly awesome season for the engineers and one of those teams that you just really feel for. I mean, we feel bad for all of them, right? But like just so far, two seasons. Uh, or two events, um, so many banners already. Um, 
but just congrats to the engineers on just a great season here at 16. Yeah, one, one of the few teams that really uh, consistently was attempting and mostly succeeding on those uh, uh, behind the trench uh, run shots that they have there. So uh, right behind the uh, control panel, you see them mm-hmm. on the right right hand side of the yeah. screen there. Um, and so if they had a partner that could pair up well for that. I mean, you mentioned their semifinals last week, and then two weeks ago they won Kettering. But last week, you know, obviously uh, for this watch with uh, Strike Force, who was an absolutely phenomenal machine as well too. Um, but had some issues as an alliance together, you know, um, other things breaking down uh, with alliance partners, that sort of thing. But 20 through 37, um, to me, it seemed really good. Uh, there was a very interesting conversation uh, a couple weeks ago on the Infimidation show about uh, if that long shot is worth it in the long run because they're where engineers accuracy was, was a little, I think they said a little bit over 50%. I don't recall where they were in their second event, uh, but to me, you know, getting that long shot at a fairly accurate amount and then having somebody play cleanup in front, very reminiscent of 2013 that way. Um, and I thought overall it was a, it was a great strategy for them. Um, you know, obviously I think their main objective would have been to keep down at that accuracy more and more if they could. Uh, but engineers, uh, nonetheless, a uh, really fantastic team uh, in Michigan this year and just made a stellar robot. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.